Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Lave with Century 21 Affiliated. I'm based in our Appleton, Wisconsin office. Century 21 Affiliated is in six states throughout the United States. And we're always here to help you, whether you're buying or selling, relocating, wanting to find that vacation property. We've got agents around the country that can help you. So please always give me a call, 920-585-5400. And if I do not service that area, I can put you in touch with someone that can. Today, um, I'm gonna do a little bit different videos on the market, the real estate market. Usually this is my national real estate market trends video, but so many people who are at home now working or laid off, We've got a few questions that keep coming up, and I thought I would shed some light with some statistics uh, for you so that you can kind of ponder that. One of the first questions I hear people asking is, is the economy going to recover? Think about a VCR. Right now, our economy has had the pause button pressed. This economy is not like 2008. 2008 came in like a tornado, crashing down buildings down to their foundation, destroying them. We had to rebuild all of those buildings, and it took years to rebuild the housing market and the mortgage market based on 2008. Right now, we're in a snowstorm. There's about six feet of snow on the ground, Eventually, that snow is going to melt. All of the buildings are still going to be intact. You don't have to rebuild anything. It might be a little slower getting up and running, but we're going to be able to do that. I do believe the next 90 days are going to be quite a wild ride for the second quarter of the year. Um, according to Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, and Morgan Stanley, they said to be prepared for that wild ride uh, with our economy. We are going to have a V-type recovery, just like that, where the economy was up, now it's taking that sharp dip down, and we're going to go back up again. Most pandemics do create a V-shaped recovery a strong downward spike, and then a strong upward spike, promoting the economy to getting healthy. The V-shaped recovery is not going to impact our housing prices dramatically. And that's something that you should be aware of. We still have consumers out there thinking of buying a home or selling a home. They are just sitting on the sidelines right now on pause themselves. It's anticipated that real estate that's normally done March, April, May, and June is going to come in like Game Busters July, August, and September of this year. Now, other people have asked, are we going into a recession? There have only been two recessions that have affected the housing market, and I think I've spoke about that before. The first one was the Great Recession from 2007 to 2009. We've all lived through that one. The second one was the Gulf War Recession from 1990 to 1991. No other recession in the history of our country has impacted the housing market. A third question, is this going to be like the 2008 housing market? The answer is simply no. We have low inventory, and the majority of Americans have 50% or greater equity in their home right now. Prior to 2008, we as consumers that were homeowners would purchase vacations, cars, other luxury items, using the equity in our home. We as a consumer learned a lesson with the 2008 crash in the housing market. 
And we have learned to become a bit more conservative. So with the majority of Americans having 50% or greater in their home, we're set for the day. What about all the job losses? We hear about it every day on TV. I want to break down the job losses. And I will have uh, some slides on my Facebook page on Saturday, along with this video, if you want to re-watch it. Uh, the slides will help uh, you understand some of these things I'm talking about. So you've got to remember, 59.5% of the job loss right now during this pandemic have been with the food service and drinking places, meaning they're the servers and the bartenders. When these restaurants reopen, all of those people are going to go back to work. Then there's 30.7% of construction workers, healthcare office workers, child care workers, temporary health service workers, the accommodation industry, hotel industry, and retail workers that are laid off right now, they are all going to go back to work once we open up businesses in America. Of course, you've got to understand, this may not be a rush of all of those people going back to work. It's going to be a gradually going back to work scenario. Then there's about 9.8% of the jobs that people were originally laid off. They may not go, they may not all go back to work. But remember, 90% of the jobs that people have been laid off, they're coming back. Now, when you listen to the May 8th jobs report, it's going to be doom and gloom, probably saving about 10 million people out of work. But understand, the majority of those people, 90%, are going back to work. Gradually, but they're going back to work. Other people said, what should I do now? As many of us are in our homes, working from home, tutoring our children, uh, trying to stay safe, uh, only going out when we need to get groceries. You've got to remember, home ownership is an important source of wealth. I don't want you to forget about that. Home ownership increases the family or individual's wealth. What you can do right now is keep your family safe and care for the families that have been impacted greatly by this pandemic. But don't let the pandemic make you forget about doing your job. Our jobs, even if we're working from home, are the financial key of this pandemic. We cannot follow with the financial crisis in our country immediately after the health crisis. So don't panic. There have been studies done about the Great Recession that if we would not have panicked, it might have been less severe. So we need to stay calm, don't panic, take care of our families, and we will get through this. If you have any questions, Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You may call me or you can go out to www.connectwithfarb.com and I will be able to answer your questions or provide you with the information that I have gotten from Keeping Current Matters on this topic. Stay well, everyone, and we will get through this together. Thank you for watching.